I want to demonstrate a new feature that we've added to Realty Pilot BPO Traffic Controller. I've gone to BPOs and selected List, and I have my list of BPOs. On this particular BPO, I've selected the Residential Standard Form, and I want to click on this icon which says Complete. When I do so, it loads the form for that particular BPO. I'm going to scroll down to the area where we've added the feature, which is the Competitive Closed Sales. In the left side column, you'll notice a new link that says Fill from CSV File. This allows you to create a custom export in your MLS and export a CSV file with all of your comp listings. And when you click this link, you're able to pull that data into this form. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. And you'll see step one says select your MLS export. So I'm going to browse for that. Now I've created a custom MLS export, which we suggest you do to make sure that it covers all of the fields that you're going to need in the BPO form. I'm going to click Upload and it loads the data. Now at the top of step 2 you'll notice that it says apply saved field name group and I can select from a saved field name group and what that would do is load a map that's already been saved a configuration map. Now if I, this is the first time that I've loaded my MLS file I'm gonna have to map that data. So you'll see that this first column shows the first row in your data which is usually the header names or the names of the fields the second column shows the second row in your data, which is usually the first listing in your data. And then this third column allows you to map that data to, our for, to the BPO form. So for example, under listing number, it has the number there, I'm going to choose MLS. I'm going to skip down to house number, and I'm going to go to choose the house number. Now you'll notice that MLS is highlighted now to show that I've already used that field. So I'm going to choose house number. Compass, I'm going to choose Compass, etc. I would continue and, and map each of the fields. When I was done with that first map, I would check this box that says Save New Field Name Group, and I would name this. Now, in this case, I've already saved a map, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that and delete that. And instead, I'm going to load a map. So you'll notice when I selected that file, it filled in the various fields on the right to show where to map the data. You'll notice there's lots of nuns because I haven't completely mapped all of this data yet um, for the purposes of this demonstration. But I'm going to go ahead and go to the bottom, and without saving this map because it's already saved, I'm going to click Next Step. It loads Step 3. Now you'll see that we have all of the addresses that it's imported. And we can map those to the various areas on our form. So, for example, these first three I'm going to map them as my com comparable listings. So I simply select the radio buttons. My next three I'm going to map to my comp solds. And you'll notice there's also a subject column. So I'm going to map this last one to my subject property. If you had extra listings that you didn't want to pull in, you could always check the don't use radio button, which is selected by default. I'm going to go ahead and click Add Values to Form, and it pulls all of those values from the properties that I've just imported into the form. And again, you'll see there's some blanks because I didn't map everything, but it filled it in for the competitive closed sales on the page one. And if I go to page two, you'll see that it also filled it in for the competitive listings. So with a simple three-step process, you can import your MLS comp listings directly into the form, and after you've mapped the data once, it becomes a one-step process, which is very powerful and will save you lots of time.